The Henderson County Education and Exposition Center will serve as the community vaccination site Tuesday through Saturday for the next six to eight weeks. Vaccination stations were set up inside as Kentucky National Guardsmen and active duty servicemen and women from Fort Hood, Texas will be part of the vaccination center. That was the easiest thing I've ever had. Kentucky Governor Randy Bashir came to Henderson to thank Extension personnel for their commitment and officially opened the clinic. I certainly think that, um, that, that this will be um, effective uh, and it will be effective both here and through the, the mobile sites. Uh, we're really excited to see uh, how this uh, FEMA, Commonwealth of Kentucky, Wild Health, uh, mobile vaccination uh, works. The plan uh, is to vaccinate people from a 12-county area with four first, uh, mobile units going in into months. those communities uh, to deliver 125 uh, shots a day, in addition to the vaccination site, which Henderson County Extension Agent Amanda Hardy said people already know. Yes, a lot of people in the community know this building. They're comfortable with coming to our building and um, we have great access to parking and it just made sense. It was perfect for what they were looking for. So we were put on a list and we were at the top of that list. I think it's a big honor for University of Kentucky Cooperative Extension Service to, uh, to focus on one of our, our facilities. It is all part of an effort to get as many people vaccinated as possible by taking a proactive approach in Henderson. A concerned group of us uh, were already working behind the scenes and we formed the uh, Social Equity Committee, which is under the umbrella of the Henderson Chamber of Commerce. And we decided to be proactive. We decided to be visible in our community to promote accessible sites for people to get the uh, vaccination. Today is all about health equity. Health equity means that everyone has the opportunity to be as healthy as possible. This requires removing obstacles, and today we're taking yet another step in that process. The sites will accommodate both registered and walk-up visitors who want to get the vaccination. From the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture, Food and Environment, I'm Jeff Franklin.